Ossipee Valley Fair Car Show. Following Richard and his Pontiac. Got his little girl with me. Say hello, Emma. Hi. Well, watch where I'm going. I'm drifting across lanes. By traffic, I had a feeling there's something wrong with my camera. Looks like it's taking pictures instead of video. Damn it! I hate it when it does that. I can't shut it off. Oh, come on, baby. Is that me do it? You gonna crash? Yeah. See if you can't push that button now. See that little thing. That was a scary time. I don't know. Grandpa's having issues. I think, I think it's recording now. I think that red dot means it's just taking a bunch of photos. I think that red dot means it's recording. No, it's supposed to have a picture of a camera there. I think it's recording now. A red dot means it's recording too. No, Don't red dot. Red dot. You can see something here too. It's recording. Yeah, it's not. Hey, yeah, you're there. <laughs> yeah, so it's taken 22 pictures already. I don't know. I'll keep trying it, but I don't think it's going to. I think I'm going to have to throw it all away. Anyways, I don't know if this thing is recording right. That's what we've been arguing about. But uh, let me close my trunk. We made it to the fair. <clears throat> but my clutch is chattering like a son of a bitch. Hey, that's John Abrams, or his wife anyway. Right, where John is. Ramming. And uh, right, well, I'm gonna go wipe the motor off on the car a little better. It's a lock of some sort, huh? Is there a security the key? Security key. Uh, yeah, they used to, to make it so you can't start the car. There used to be an alarm system that uh, they used to put the key on the yeah. outside. Cuts it off. Yeah. Ooh, don't hit, don't hit. Cut it, cut it. Okay, there's Bill Ugly's car. 61 Chrysler. I don't know if I ever got a picture of the inside of this car. The dashboard sure looks nice. Look at that speedometer. Yeah, that's uh, what's his name? John Abram's wife. Yeah, I know. I've seen, I've seen that before. So John's probably here with something of his. Yeah, that's Bill Ugly. He's always there. He's I see him just about every car show. Oh, well, that's similar to that, the gray one. And uh, the Malibu SS. <laughs> Which is a nice car. Oh, the key's on the seat. You can take it. Otherwise, you're going to work. got to work for it. This one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, red line tires. That was big in the 60s. Yeah. Used to be stock on GTOs. But, uh, that was a big, big thing in the city. Yeah, it was a big deal. Now you can't even have to get them unless you pay top dollar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a long, very long with white walls, though, too. And, uh, yeah. Sid's cab. Lots of chrome. That's nice. What year is it, 65 or 66? 65. And I don't know what those are. Are those muscle cars, best of the 70s? So. Hey John, how are ya? I don't 
don't know if it's working, but just in case, it seems to me like it doesn't look like it's working right. But check out this luscious Pontiac. It's a little dusty. A little rusty. <laughs> but, uh, Irish's car. George Gatozzi. Uh, Frank Berry. And this one belongs to uh, John. John uh, Abrams. And it's not much different than Richard's car, except for the, this one's got paint on it. He's got a shortage of seats, but as long as he can drive it. I, Is that a packet that you have? Uh, well, I, I would, you're across from hunting yeah, yeah. somewhere in Freiburg. I had, a, Is that a, I had a 41 Packard, but okay. I just sold it to a guy. Well, it's, you know, I don't go through there all that often, but I recognize yeah. your Mustang. And I think that's a packet, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I've had it for a while, and the guy that was working for me just wanted to buy it, and he kept pestering me until I finally sold it to him. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't think I'd ever get to it. I got so many projects going on. Yeah, well, I'm sure packet parts are great, easy to find. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it's usually got a lot more cars here than this. But uh, I wonder what happened to Richard and the kids. Well, I suppose I'll take a walk down this way. Check out the 50, try five Chevys. They've got a class of their own. Mustangs don't. But then I'm the only one here with a Mustang so far. Seven Chevy, 55 Chevy, two to a hard top. Bel Air, 55 Chevy four door sedan. It's uh, a nice looking Crown Vic. And a 49 Olds. There's the 51 Ford convertible that's in pretty nice shape. I'd get closer, but there's so much traffic, I don't want to get run over. Uh, there's a Mustang. This must be the muscle car area. Yep. Muscle cars. No, I don't know, but I think a muscle car is supposed to have a big block engine. This one looks like a 289. I don't know, might be a 351, but I don't think 351 fits in a Mustang. Unless you have modified shock towers. Yeah, that's what I was just uh, debating. Is that a big engine or is that just a 289? Because I know to put a uh, 302 in here, you can fit those in, but the 351, you have to change the shock towers. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? And this doesn't look like it's been modified, so. Right, so probably a 302. Yeah. Or 289. You've got a nice serpentine system, belt, belt system. Emma, don't touch. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can look, but don't touch. You can touch my car all you want. But... Yeah. Well, this is a Jeep. Oh, yeah. Screwed up his hood, huh? Oh. Uh, wrecked his hood. Must have lost the fan or something at one point. Yeah, that it could be. Looks like it. Yeah. I had a 55 Chevy with a hole like that. Yeah. It threw the fan blade out through the hood. Yeah. Oh. So that makes it like a Frankenstein car and now. That one there has got a chain across the back of the way that the gate opens. Yeah. And holding it, holding it together, I guess. <laughs> hey, Dad, it's a Frankenstein car. Just to be safe, car. I guess. It looks like it's been fixed, but it's just... Yeah. It's a Frankenstein car. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. That's probably what he was doing. You could fix that. Hide it. Yeah. 
Well, I had my breakfast sandwich. I gotta head back over, find Richard and the kids, maybe set up the canopy. But, uh, it's Tim's awesome little Mustang. I need to see uh, uh, this is nice. Feel the freedom. Mm. Supercharged. And a Superman on top of the supercharger. <laughs> Did he make this? Two more cars come in since the last time I wandered through here. It's a 44 Deluxe two-door sedan. No, it's a 40 Ford Standard. I don't know what year this is. 41 Chevy, I think. Richard and the kids, they wandered off. Fiberglass Fiat. Oh, yeah. A long way to heaven. That's one hell of a ride. Oh, yeah. I don't see many more of these anymore. 
No, I know. When I was in high school, a friend of mine had one that uh, was a dragster with a Hemi engine in it. Yep, this had a Hemi originally. Oh, yeah? Yep. Can't afford them things. No, I know, they're pretty expensive. Oh. <laughs> Just about afford to keep it going. Yeah. in their lives. Somebody won. A couple more kids lining up. I don't know when the dragsters are going to get out there. I don't know if I want to sit around here and wait. It looked like there was a lot of those four wheelers. They were all lining up to go out there and race. So it's going to be a while. Get this one and then I'm going to head out. See what else is going on at the Thea. Green. And uh, yeah, some of them are faster than others. Not fair. Well, it looks like three more cars came in since I was since I got here in this class. This is nice. It used to be a six-cylinder, but I guess they put in a V8 upgraded a stock 67 and it's a GT350 and it's legitimate because it's got this tag a serial number tag for a GT350. Oh, let's see. Dale Barton, I don't think I know him. Nice radiator. Cobra powered. Uh, got rear speakers. Little windows. Got the Cobra gas cap. Oh, I gotta get a couple chairs out of here. 62 Corp at. Yeah, the interior is nice and all restored to like new condition.
for a face man. Huh? Uh -huh. Is there a ballast? It might be a ballast. I have no idea what they got the in there. The ballast probably ups the bolts. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Hey, uh, oh, yeah. It guys, works. I was yeah. looking at it, and it looks like the ultimate. They're not that expensive either, That's buddy. Yeah. Wow. Did you guys draw on the car? We did. You get stickers and lollipops. Oh, well, well, no, 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 the bus is not. No, I'm talking about my Beetle. My, oh, beetle, my Beetle's got a okay. generator, yeah. Yeah, that's 12 volt. Yeah, yeah. But the beetle, the beetle is six volt, and it's still got a generator. Yeah. And you know, it was horrible when it was just the, the regular lights. You yeah. Know, I remember driving to work and go, oh, I can't see anything. I could use a flashlight right now. It worked better. Yeah. And then put those LED lights on. Oh. I'm in the 21st century now. <laughs> yeah, so so those in a 20th ones, century car. <laughs> yeah, they, those have like did come with halogen yeah, right in them. Yeah, but it was that nasty yellow, and you would think halogen. Betty Boop. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. All these LEDs are nice and white. Probably yours are too. Oh so. God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Probably cars coming toward me might not like it. Yeah, I mean, it's, I it's like it's, it's literally true. like night and day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Daphne. Oh, Daphne was here. Jesus loves you. Now, I got a ground in the back that's fucked, so I gotta hook that back up. That's Somebody was asking me yesterday about um, license plates.